Hey Scorpio, and welcome to your monthly read for February 2022. We'll start by pulling a court card, see how you're rolling up into the month of February. Being like the Knight of Swords. All right, something happening very quickly or instinctually you are uh, moving rapidly toward something. What is it? What's the opportunity for Scorpio this month? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Your hopes and dreams have been fulfilled. I don't know about hopes and dreams, but something that brings you a sense of stability, something that allows you to nurture yourself. You're sort of like really quickly going for the thing that feels good. How very Scorpio of you. I don't know what I mean by that. I'm just saying, you know, um, the energy of Scorpio um, it's kind of sexy, you know, it's kind of luxury, self-care, um, what's the challenge then? Okay, what's the challenge? The Two of Pentacles, so balance, decisions, priorities, um, so work, life, stuff, work, life, stuff jumping right in I feel like jumping two feet in into a new situation or um, facing a difficult uh, decision perhaps regarding your work-life balance what are our hopes here <laughs> the six of Pentacles again balance foundation Eight of Wands, something happening very quickly. Again, I think a very quick, uh, a very rapid decision was made. And it's leading to some sort of stability or balance. Like your get, what you're getting and what you're putting in now feels equal. Um, and or the challenge is to balance um, yourself given this new thing that showed up in your life suddenly. What's going on here? What's in the past? The world. The foundation of the world. You know, um, the world card is about being renewed. A recycling. Um, it's like the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. So seeing the world in the recent past means something about you fundamentally has changed. Maybe your outlook on something um, has changed and it's almost as if uh, whatever changed about you in your life, whatever you changed, or maybe this was just divine timing here, something coming to an end, um, is actually bringing you a lot of things. There's like a, either a windfall or um, <laughs> windfall or a landslide I don't know but I think that it's incredibly positive actually it's just like whoa 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 yeah so then we have the nine of swords as the outcome you might not know like oh man can I do this can I even handle this much heat can I handle this much excitement so maybe that's why the opportunity is the Queen of Pentacles. Like really relish in the parts of this opportunity that are fulfilling you, that are making you feel secure and grounded in yourself. What is this opportunity giving you? And focus on that. Not the difficult stuff of um, possibly, you know, like this guy's crying a little bit in this artwork. It's just the idea of grief and the nine of swords by the way is another message card just like the eight of wands which you also have here as the foundation so what kind of messages is this some sort of self-talk here is this some sort of like thought like a, a belief like grieving a belief system or grieving like how you used to see yourself or grieving who you used to be and this is in the mind, right? So what are you thinking about at night when you go to bed? 
that's making you feel like I've lost something. Um, because I see that sort of in your mind and your the Knight of Swords then is like this energy of just like, yep, just want to get right past it. I want to get right past the tough stuff. And, and yeah, I think focus on the, the fact that um, you made the right decision, right? Like you want to feel like you made, you made the right decision or something. Again, the challenge card is priorities. I think that you care about a lot of different things, but this idea of prioritization um, and balancing something in your life, something is sort of equalizing or you made a decision to prioritize one thing over the other. Maybe you're prioritizing yourself here. Which means you are turning down other opportunities, um, external things, right? To focus on yourself. Maybe giving yourself more than what, you know, than, than what you used to. There's that work-life balance, right? Or maybe giving yourself less. Um, anyway, there's a shift. Uh, you're showing up as the Knight of Cups. Yeah, okay. So romance, maybe. The Fool. Wands. Oh, sorry, Ace of Wands. And the High Priestess. You're definitely new at something. So this rapid decision, something came in very quickly. Something changed for you. The Fool as like this new energy, the spirit comes right after the world, right? So now we see like the perfect trajectory of like, you've transformed, you've, you've ended an era and you're being just thrust into this new thing. Um, and so your energy as the Knight of Cups is saying, I'm really going to feel my way through this. And that's why your opportunity is the Queen of Pentacles. How can you live each day, each moment, really absorbing everything that this opportunity is here to offer you? In that sense, it's about keeping your uh, mind on the things that are most important to you. What is your priority? Understand uh, your motives. Hopes and fears, the Ace of Wands. <laughs> yes. Right? That's the yes of the tarot. And so you want to know that you, I, this is connected to the nine of swords, I feel like. And if the challenge of the two of pentacles refers to a decision, something that happened very quickly again, that you're now moving very quickly through something or into something, your hope and fear is that you've made the right choice. And I think deep down, you know that you did. I think that what is the right choice for you is something that only you can know deep down um, when you're following the path of your intuition. Again, you're not looking for external validation. The Knight of Swords is somebody who says, I know what I have to do. And then you just go and do it as fast as possible. Okay? The, the Knight of Swords, I feel like, is the energy that meets opportunity. When preparedness meets opportunity, he is the most prepared to move, to take action. So yeah, when the universe shows eight of wands, you're the knight of swords. And so it's almost like you've been waiting for this opportunity there, because the six of, the six of pentacles, is right that that idea of reciprocity of, um, give a little take a little you're either in the giving end or the receiving end either way there is a transaction so I feel like you've been waiting for the universe to bring you something um, or maybe you've been oh man like vision boarding or something like I feel like you you had been uh, mentally physically, emotionally, spiritually preparing yourself for this opportunity to manifest itself to you. Um, 
and the again the queen of pentacles as the opportunity she lives the manifestation that the magician manifests so you were you were literally given the opportunity that you were asking for the universe for this whole time even though you didn't know that that's what you wanted it might not look the same as what you were thinking and it, but i think that that's why when we see the world card something about you has fundamentally changed and I, so we have to think about how we unattach ourselves from um, preconceptions about again our idealized um, um, paths you know like how we think about what our purpose is in life there's a new direction a new set course and so yeah you're showing up as the knight of swords but also as the knight of cups and so this is connecting to your emotional center a bit. I think that you are uh, really um, dreaming or fantasizing about what, what this opportunity can lead to. Um, I see the fool and the high priestess here as well. This is like the energy of the student, right? And... Um, Sort of the master, right? The high priestess, she like holds the, the key to uh, the secrets of the universe. She is wisdom. She is knowledge. And the fool sort of seeks this knowledge. Yeah? Show me more about the nine of swords. The five of pentacles. There's the magician. And the ten of pentacles. I think that sometimes you do revert back to this um, this this idea that how can I possibly manifest the thing that I want in life when I don't feel ready, like I don't have what it takes. I think you need to let go of that. I think you need to let give yourself some more credit and actually believe and embody um, all of those. Uh, qualities that lead to this legacy that you want to build and remove yourself from the attachment of what that's supposed to look like so that it can actually come in uh, oh man was this on a TikTok but somebody said we don't manifest what we want in life we manifest what we are so I just want to stress one more time how important it was for this to end. For something to come to an end so that you could have this new beginning. You are literally brand new. You've been transformed. Or if not totally transformed, at least crossed through the threshold. Thrust through, quite literally. It might feel like this month for you that it all happened way too fast. It all became very real suddenly it takes some getting used to Scorpio honestly so I say just have faith in yourself <laughs> um, and take the message of the opportunity card the Queen of Pentacles and take exquisite care of yourself this month you deserve it That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.